Hello everybody, this is Dr. Marek Graczkowski or Dr. G. I'm going to be your professor for the course uh, Human Functional Human Motion or uh, as I like to call it uh, Kinesiology. Um, this is somehow demanding course. Uh, you will need uh, two textbooks for this course and all the materials you really need for this course you can find on Blackboard. However, mm, I'm going to go through the syllabus uh, because looks like this. I won't see you in person before uh, the week second when we meet uh, when we meet on campus. Uh, so you can find uh, a lot of information in the syllabus, <laughs> my uh, short bio, course description, and very important uh, for you to understand is that ACODE or our accrediting body uh, requ uh, have certain requirements for each course you take in MSOT program. They are posted uh, also in your uh, syllabus and it starts with B. So all of those B's and on the other page are the required uh, standards from ACODE and of course in order to meet them uh, you will have uh, MSOT program related objectives and student learning outcomes. All of those are interconnected. It's very important that we meet all of those criteria for the accreditation uh, of the program purposes. So like I mentioned uh, just now, you will need two textbooks, uh, very, very important textbooks. Uh, I know that some students sometimes don't buy certain books but I strongly encourage you uh, to buy those. You will uh, most definitely uh, need um, a Newman book which looks just like this. There we go. Um, and it's called Kinesiology of Musculoskeletal System Foundations for Rehabilitation. And the second book is Pedretti's Occupational Therapy Practice Skills for Physical Dysfunction. Uh, we will use a primarily Newman book, but Pedretti, it's going to be uh, very important as a supplemental reading plus manual muscle testing and range of motion, which we will cover in this course. Uh, it's not in the Newman book, but it's uh, very extensively covered in Pedretti book. Also, Pedretti book is going to be used in uh, more classes um, uh, than, than just, ju just this one. Uh, therefore, I strongly encourage you to buy it. Now, the next pages you have very detailed week-by-week uh, -week description of what you need to do and what is expected from you. So I will already let you read that. Uh, but let's go straight to assessment course evaluation. Um, of course, the total is 100%, but is divided into sev several different components. So the f uh, first 15 points or per percent comes from the three discussions. Each discussion worth 5%, evenly distributed, uh, and those discussions are on weekly basis. Uh, 30% comes from two tests. Yes, you will have uh, tests, multiple choice test. First test comes already in the week two and, uh, and the second one in week six during our on-campus uh, meetings. 10% comes from the movement analysis assignment, 5% from hand therapy PEM assignment, 5% from hand therapy orthosis assignment, 20% comes from skills competency. What is skill competency? Well, uh, during week uh, two, uh, I am going to show you, remind you, uh, how to perform manual muscle testing and range of motion or goniometry. During the week sixth, you will uh, present this information, the skill, hands-on skill, back to me. Um, and this is worth 20%. So it's almost impossible to, to pass this course without um, those skills, hands-on uh, abilities to um, perform manual muscle testing and range of motion measurements. And the last 15% comes from the intervention planning uh, assignment. So where and how can you get the information of what exactly is expected from you 
everything in detail is is posted for you on blackboard so i encourage you to read it a little bit earlier just to have an understanding of what's going on what will be expected from you and um, how to wisely manage your time because as we all know it time is not what we have um, and at this time you are taking two courses uh, so it is not easy and uh, most definitely the course uh, itself it's not an easy course it requires a lot of readings and understanding of different concepts to help you with that I created a set of videos um, and I also posted uh, PowerPoints which you can find on the blackboard now the PowerPoint all the information containing uh, contained uh, by those powerpoints can be also find uh, found in those two books uh, Pedretti and Newman uh, primarily Newman but there is also a lot of information especially from manual muscle testing and the range of motion uh, powerpoints uh, from Pedretti now in order for you to better understand to have a better grasp of those concepts I created those PowerPoints, but also those uh, those videos to help you understand what is expected from you, what you should know, what you should focus on to pass the tests. But it's not only, of course, passing the test, but but retain knowledge for your future benefit as OTRs. And so the very first, the very first uh, PowerPoint which is simply called bonds all right here bonds it's really self-explanatory i don't feel like i have to go through uh, this uh, part this specific particular powerpoint because it is uh, there are no real concepts to explain it's a simple anatomy uh, i encourage you to open your books and if you still need uh, more reassurance of what you're reading or uh, see better pictures perhaps or drawings diagrams any anatomy book will do uh, it's a basic information about the human bone which you will be asked for during the test or on the test but again uh, it's, it's a very self-explanatory it's very technical it's very anatomy oriented so I don't really feel like I need to explain much from that PowerPoint. But I, I, I encourage you to email me or, uh, or uh, give me a, a call if you have any questions or concerns. I, um, I will talk to you and I will explain it to you. Um, but uh, the prerequisite uh, to emailing me or, or contact me uh, by phone he said, I really want you to read the textbook. I really want you to read and go over the PowerPoint. If you don't truly don't understand something, uh, not only uh, in relation to, to PowerPoint, of course, but you don't understand certain, certain things, I, then I encourage you to contact me, but not before you try to find the answer for yourself. After, after all, this is a master de degree program. Um, and we are all uh, working and learning adults um, so uh, I encourage you to open your PowerPoints open your book first read the chapter in your book then take a, a close look at the PowerPoints and compare them uh, compare them to uh, the tests are very heavily based on the information in the PowerPoint and like I said, PowerPoints do derive from the uh, Newman book, primarily. Uh, I will give you some heads up uh, before the test. The tests are all multiple choice, but I will talk about the test in the future recording. So uh, for now, as an introduction, I think you got enough information and I encourage you to take a look uh, at uh, the uh, future uh, future videos thank you